Last month's eBase, the largest business aviation show in Europe, was interrupted when climate activists cut the airport fence and breached the ramp. The protesters waved banners demanding the world ban private jets. Others chained themselves to aircraft and disrupted flight operations until police removed them. In a separate incident last week, climate activists sprayed a Citation CJ in Germany in orange paint. No dollar amount has been announced for that damage, but it's expected to be significant. I don't think it'll be too long before these kinds of protests make their way to the United States. When they do, I expect them to draw more attention because they'll have millions of additional eyeballs thanks to social media. Even though aviation has faced criticism before over pollution concerns, our industry has never specifically been targeted. So how should business aviation leaders respond? Some people think talking to the protesters will help them see the light, that we're a valuable transportation segment. But I think those efforts will be a waste of time. You see, if you listen closely to these protests, the message is as much about exclusivity, class, and privilege as it is about climate change. The argument is that our industry is a wasteful luxury and an exclusive privilege for the very few that pollute the sky while the rest of humanity suffers. If you're wondering how they figured this out, it's easy. They took the words we use to market ourselves and they're using them against us. But it wasn't always this way. Years ago, my father, Phil, never told people he sold airplanes. He always told them that he sold time machines. From beach to Gulfstream to Cessna to Dassault, the story was the same. Companies that operate business aircraft were high performance organizations, more profitable and efficient than those that didn't. However, it seems the time machine message has been nearly forgotten. Instead of pointing to the results that ownership can provide to the bottom line, OEMs, fractionals, charter operators, and aviation support companies are emphasizing the luxurious experience a passenger will enjoy as they're carried aloft in their winged chariot. Seriously, if all we sell is the exclusivity and luxury and lifestyle experience of private flying, what did you expect? If our industry continues down this path, further enabling these protests, the message will grow louder until legitimate business aircraft operators are drowned out. I think it's time we go back to the future and reframe our story. We must market ourselves as valuable time savers. If the industry combines its efforts, I think we have a good opportunity to marginalize these protests long enough for new aircraft technologies to emerge with near zero emissions. I'm Dave Coleman, thanks for listening.